What's up guys, I'm Nick from PRL and today we're installing the brand new coolant overflow tank for the 11th gen Civic chassis. We figured it's easy enough to install outside since the shop's a little busy and it's one of the last nice days of the year. So as you can see here, the factory coolant overflow tank is made of this unsightly plastic. We all know from experience this thing will degrade, it'll turn yellow, just really does not look good in the engine bay. So. In my hand, I've got the PRL overflow tank. It's all aluminum construction will make it much more durable than the factory unit, and it's anodized black finish will make it look great in your engine bay. Another huge perk is that it uses the factory coolant line, so you don't have that risk of it degrading over time like you do with some aftermarket options. So we've got a super straightforward install today. First and foremost, what's included in the overflow kit is just what you see here in front of me, just the tank, the cap, and the fitting. Next, you're gonna want some OEM Honda coolant. We do sell this along with a bunch of other OEM Honda accessories on our website. And the tools that you're gonna need for the install are nothing more than a 3 8 drive ratchet with a long and a short extension, 14 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and some needle nose pliers. So the first step is removing the factory overflow tank. And for that, all you need to do is slide it out of the bracket and then unclip the line here from the clip, just like that. You can set it aside just like that just so as to not spill any coolant and then we can come back to it a little bit later in the install. So for the next step, we've got two 10 millimeter head bolts holding the factory overflow bracket to the frame rail. And we've got this 14 millimeter head bolt uh, for the motor mount. We're gonna be using those three bolts uh, to mount the PRL overflow tank. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is grab your 3 8 drive ratchet with your long extension and your 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove those two bolts. So next you're gonna wanna swap out your 10 millimeter socket for the 14. And we can go ahead and remove this bolt from the motor mount. Might be a little tight. So at this point, the overflow tank is ready to drop into the car. It's gonna use all of the OEM hardware, so it's super simple to put in. When you first drop it in, the first bolt that you're gonna to wanna to put in is the motor mount bolt. That's gonna allow you to still position the overflow tank. This is also one of those situations where your handy dandy extendo magnet is really gonna come in handy. So once you've loosely threaded in the motor mount bolt, you could take your magnet and drop it into the frame rail bolt. Go ahead and tighten it down with your 10 millimeter socket. Leave it loose, just thread it in. The magnet again, drop in the second bolt. Now that you've got all three bolts in, you can go ahead and tighten them down. All right, now we've got our overflow tank rigidly mounted in the car, and I gotta say, it's looking a lot better in here. The last step is just to transfer the line over, fill up the coolant tank, and you're all set. Okay, we're gonna start with pulling off the line from the factory tank. You just may have to break the line loose using your needle nose pliers. What's that? Just light pressure. When you pull the line off, make sure you're pinching the line so you're introducing as little air as possible into the system. You may get a little splash. Then you can go ahead and put this on the fitting. So now all we're gonna do is transfer the coolant over from the factory tank into our tank. 
Something to keep in mind is that we designed our tank to hold the OEM maximum amount of fluid in this tank. So you should just be able to transfer the fluid right over. But if you want to make sure, we've got a sight glass on there and you should see the fluid level up halfway uh, the diameter of the sight glass. When you remove the factory cap from the factory tank, you're gonna see this plastic piece in here. It's really important that you transfer this piece over to our tank as this allows for venting of the coolant. So we've got the install all done. One thing to note is that we did expose the cooling system to the atmosphere. So to void out any potential air bubbles that may have been introduced into the system, you may want to burp your cooling system. All you have to do is pop your radiator cap off here and idle the car for five minutes with the heat on. That'll allow the coolant to circulate through the heater core and push out any air bubbles. Then you may have to just top your coolant off a little bit and you're good to go. So the unit that we installed in this car is a prototype. As of November 3rd, 2021, these just went into production. So they should be available on our website fairly soon for pre-order. I really hope you enjoy the new and improved look to your engine bay. And until next time, take it easy guys.